What's up guys? Do you have noises on your ATV like squeaking and rattling and you don't know what it is? Well, in this video we're going to check out some things that may be causing those noises and we're going to go through some ways you can possibly eliminate those noises and rattles and squeaks on your ATV, so stay tuned. Probably one of the most noticeable things on here is going to be your suspension squeaking when you go over bumps and stuff. That's caused by if you've washed it, gotten it wet, or gone through some water, you'll get the suspension wet there and that will cause that to squeak. Another thing with the suspension is on the A-arms, these bushings here will get dirt in them and if you get them wet and get them dry, you'll get that dirt worked into the bushings and that will cause some squeaking there. So if you want to eliminate that part, I went with the UMHW bushings and those tighten up the A-arms so pretty much eliminates any squeaking there. With the installation process, you'll put grease on them so they're pretty much good to go and they self-lubricate. That's one of the cool parts about the UMHW bushings. Another big thing on here is the heat shield on the exhaust. These will rattle sometimes. And that's just from the aluminum plate that'll wear out on the little screws that attach it to the muffler. So what you can do is actually put a new washer on the little screws that hold this aluminum plate because sometimes it'll water out the aluminum after so many miles. Go around and check those screws, check those washers, check those aluminum plates and you may need to put new washers on them. And that'll be for any heat shield along the exhaust all the way up to the engine if you got heat shields all up there. Like you can just tap them and see if they're going to wiggle or rattle. And that way you can check those and fix that problem. Another thing is the brake calipers in here. These pads in here will rattle in the caliper. So the little trick I have for that is this little 2 inch spring. It's got a hook on both ends and that you just attach to the brake pad itself up here and then wrap it on the back of the caliper to the bottom of the pad. That just keeps tension on the brake pad itself. So that's a cool little trick for those brake pads. All right, another thing is if you have a sway bar on your ATV and these mounting points, same with, with the suspension bushings, you'll get dirt in there, you go through water, get some sand or dirt in there, and that's gonna cause that to squeak there in the plastic or the rubber mounting bushing, whichever one you have. And the trick for that, just take it out, clean it up. You can put some grease in there or you can totally remove your sway bar like I did in this video up here if you want more articulation or better crawling. But if you're in two passengers or trailers and stuff, then you'll probably wanna leave your sway bar on there. That is the trick for that. You can grease those little bushings there or just remove the sway bar depending on what you want to do. Another thing is these fenders will rattle and you just need to go around and check that all the clips are on there. You can see here on this one, I'm actually missing a clip on this one so I'll need to get one for that. That can be another cause of noise on your ATV, just having loose fenders or missing clips or something. You can kind of go around and see if anything's loose. Another thing is to check the mounting screws, that those are all tight around the fenders everywhere. Just go around, check that all your screws are tight. If there's any loose ones, you could probably add like a washer or something to tighten it up. And then on these Alteras, they've got these little clips, plastic clips like this, so I just need to get some more of those and that'll fix that. So that'll fix the fender rattle. All right, another thing here on the exhaust, there is a little exhaust gasket in there. I've had this on the Prowlers mostly, but that exhaust gasket in there may wear out if these bolts here aren't tightened down to their specifications. Over time, the exhaust might get loose on you. Just go around and check all your nuts and bolts, make sure they're all tight, and that will solve this problem. All right guys, so there are some tips for you. Just things you can check over, grease, or tighten up on your ATV to eliminate some of those noises you're having with your ATV. Hope these tips help you out. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. See you guys in the next video.